I'm super excited to be with the dynamic duo. Everybody loves these two. How are you feeling this afternoon, first of all, going into season three, Adrian, a.k.a. Uncle Phil? Hey. <laughs> you know, um, I couldn't be happier. I feel excited. You know, we've uh, really put together a real uh, amazing season, you know, and uh, I'm just happy that we can finally, you know, release it. You know? I, can't, I can't wait. How, how are you feeling, Jimmy, going into season three? I, I feel like I'm in the middle of my dream, you know? Mm. My dream is a reality, and um, I feel very excited and proud about season three i think we've elevated the show uh i'm excited for people to see more of jeffrey uh got some exciting things that we're going to reveal but most importantly it's like come on like we're in a climate where tv is is, is a it's a competitive field mm -hmm. we're back for season three and it's a retelling of an iconic uh, show fresh yeah. prince of bel-air like yeah it's just it's dreams a blessing come true, it's basically. a blessing uh, this is such a high vibrational show and it's such a a positive influence on the community and to the our culture you know so we're just we just feel very honored and privileged to be at the helm of it all you know it uh, isn't something that we take for granted no way. you know the impact that the original series has had on our generation um you know is uh something that lives on and it'll always something will always something we carry with us and the fact that we're in a position to do the same for this generation mm -hmm. um it's just um Again, it's we're in the it feels like we're in the middle of our dream. It's yeah, it's yeah. it's remarkable. I love the cinematic feel to it. Yeah. It is just so breathtaking to watch. So as we go into season three, Adrian, what has Uncle Phil taught you about yourself? Wow. Well, he definitely has uh, virtues that I, I I dream of having. He's a man of principle, a man of integrity, a man of valor, and uh, you know he. He, he's a family man, and um, but he also makes mistakes. He's a human being, not a perfect being. And the thing I love about what we do is we show him and his ups and his downs, and and, his, and how he recovers, you know, from his flaws. And so he's shown me um, how to be patient um, and just to really think things through and see all sides of things before you you make a, a decision. Um, you know, I, I he's definitely helped me with my personal growth and, and just um, how I with with new and and um, healthy perspectives uh, on my personal experiences. So it's been, it's been great to play such an important character like him. I like that, that was such a beautiful answer. Mm -hmm. So what has playing Jeffrey taught you about yourself, Jimmy? I think for me, uh, playing Jeffrey has taught me or reminded me that family is not just blood. You know, you know, mm -hmm. I, I do feel this is my brother, you know, in in the show and in real life. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that actually sometimes those friends and those other people that aren't your blood are closer than your family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeffrey's also taught me that basically like vulnerability, you know, what I mean, in terms of mm -hmm. vulnerability between men. You know, I think a lot of our scenes throughout the seasons have shown men, specifically black men, being very open and vulnerable with each, with each other. And it's rare that you see that on TV. Mm -hmm. And we lean into that in a, mm -hmm. such an authentic way. So Jeffrey's taught me that. And Jeffrey's also taught me, um, he's taught me to up my game when it comes to my swag. <laughs> you know what I mean? Clearly yeah. because yeah. the fits, the fits good. here. Like, oh my goodness. These brothers are crispy yeah. clean. Yeah, that's right. But we have to yeah. give our flowers to Queenie. Queenie. She's Sylvia, Queen yeah, Sylvia, and, and the whole team. She's the head of yeah, the whole the team wardrobe. of the wardrobe. They've definitely elevated the show. Yeah, we definitely they they, they set set a benchmark uh, for 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 fit, fit mm -hmm. and uh, the swag. So when we're in our day to day, people expect us to. You it's know. pressure. It's yeah, pressure. it's a bit of pressure. Yeah, pressure. It's like, what? You can't be rolling like that, yeah, man. You won't go feel. Come on, I man. But in great. season three, it's great to see them express themselves in that way in terms of how you see we're all differently dressed in some ways yeah. because yeah. it's the summer, right? Yeah. yeah. You're going to see a lot of skin. You know, you're going to see us dressing still a less. lot of swag. Checking out the fellas to tell them who's best. <laughs> Riding around in your Jeep with your Benzos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. You two are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for chatting with me this, this afternoon. Tune in to season three of Bel Air, August 15th. This is a series you don't want to miss. Tanisha Laverne Grant for blackinamerica.com.